Come on, old man. Dad. The news isn't good, I'm afraid. Your lung capacity is down a lot. Benny used to work for James Hardy for five years with asbestos. We've heard rumours about men getting sick, developing asbestos cancer. James Hardy has always maintained the highest possible safety standards. Look, there's going to be an inspection first thing. Uh, occupational health. Mate, if you want that pigsty cleaned up now, you might get management in there sweeping. <laughs> If this strike drags on, it could sink the place. If you lot ran a cleaner bloody factory, we wouldn't even be here. Your union represent the majority of workers involved in manufacturing asbestos products. We do indeed. So do you have any concerns about the health of those workers? It's a huge industry. It employs over 10,000 people. High profile, heavily regulated. A lot of people said that about tobacco. The condition takes a long time to manifest. So we get the older men to do the more high-risk jobs. You sent you, was it Hardy? Oh, I'm sorry, What man. are you doing at my fucking door? Who are the defendants? James Hardy and Co. Of course, I wouldn't You just don't buggy yourself. Sorry, Mr. Steve. Brandon, and don't you, Mr. Lee. Don't it. If you won't release the body, you'll be in contempt. It's not Hardy. It's the lawyers. <coughs> Oh, well, <coughs> you think I'm stupid, Burn? I know what I've got. Our plan is to consolidate the subsidiaries that once produced asbestos into a charitable trust. The victims get a fund, and Hardy gets the opportunity to grow overseas without the ball and chain of asbestos. Today, everybody wins. People are dying because of a product that James Hardy produced. And they are shooting through like a bunch of common crooks. Yes. Please, don't you tell me to be quiet. I will not be spoken to like that. Not in public and not in private either. Do you understand? What about the health commission inquiry? They told us us aboriginals are sickly anyway. So can't be sure it was asbestos made us crook. So that did nothing? They made a big fuss. But in the end, they reckon Hardy didn't do anything wrong. I'm sure everyone here is equally upset about the apparent funding shortfall. Well, it's uh, easily fixed. All Hardy has to do is put in an extra 700 million and we can all go home. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my cash offer. Not one cent. Nothing. This commission needs to direct Hardy to do the right thing and accept the truth that they knowingly mined asbestos, used asbestos, and that it killed people. Hey, you're up next week, aren't you, in the stand? You know, I reckon, I reckon you'll be right, mate. You've probably got a brother who's a judge or something. You know, you come on so high and bloody mighty, don't you? Asbestos has been a gift to you. Yeah, it's bullshit. You built your fucking career on a peacock. There are people in this world who get away with things. Hardy, I don't care how far you run, where you try to hide, until they put me in a box, I'm going to chase you and I will not let you out of my sight. Never! That's my go. <laughs> oh, some talk a couple of years back about the dust making some blokes crook. Any exposure to asbestos dust can cause fatal cancer. A disease which few have heard of, but which may haunt us for decades to come. We get the older men to do the more high-risk jobs. Based on the shocking true story that spans four decades. People are dying because of a product that James Hardy produced. Asbestos could bring this company down. It could bring us all down. Comes the incredible lifelong battle. These people got sick on your watch, mate. For justice. Innocent people will start dying without compensation. That's catastrophic. Hardy, I'm gonna chase you! Devil's Dust. None of us really know how long we've got. Starts Sunday, November 11 on ABC One.